Hi everybody, Steven here. You ever have a lab set up and you have your root user or your admin user in NSX, you log in and you realize it's expired and you're going, oh, how do I change the password? How do I change where it doesn't expire so often? That's what I'm gonna talk about because it drives me up the wall. See you in a bit. Hi everybody, thanks for sticking around. So let's jump right into it, but before I do that, if this is something that you're interested in, any of this VMware stuff, NSX stuff, uh, subscribe to the channel. It does help me out, it's free for you, so I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for those that have already subscribed. Again, I really do appreciate it. So let's jump right into this thing. So um, what I'm gonna do is let me SSH into my NSX manager. I just have a, like a bogus appliance set up so I can mess around with the passwords. So I'm just going to SSH into it. You could do this right at the console if you wanted to. I'm logged in as admin. Um, now by default, your um, if I go uh, get password complexity, so this part of the NSX, uh, oh shoot, that's set password. Let's try it. Get password complexity. And by the way, so my thing doesn't run all the way. So my little camera here so you don't doesn't block off part of the the, the screen so if i type in uh, get password complexity it shows me the the, the defaults here it says it's got to be 12 characters long um maximum is 128 characters minimum one lowercase one uppercase one numeric character one special character like you know what are all those swearing characters right and it says default complexity rules are enforced by the linux uh, pam module plugged pluggable authentication module and stuff. So if you're familiar with those, you can actually go and make modifications. You can actually modify these here if you want to. So if I want to change these complexity rules, maybe in my lab environment, I want to make it more relaxed, I can do that. I can type set password complexity, hit enter, and I can just answer a minimum password length. I could type in those. So I could set this if I want to. Uh, in production, again, you don't want to make it too easy, okay, folks? In a lab environment, who cares? I'm going to cancel this because I really don't care. Um, so let's take a look at currently what I have. I have my min user and my root user. So let's type in get um, user and it would be admin. Um, password expiration expir yeah there we go so i wonder when that's going to uh, expire now i think i already did it on this one here you'll notice over here it says password expires nine nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine days uh the current password expire will expire in nine thousand nine hundred eighty days and I'll get uh, a warning seven days before that. Uh, I already set this one, but let's take a look at the root user. How about that? I don't think I set that one. Root. Because I know this drives me up the wall in a lab environment. You know, like I spin up my lab environment, I tear it down, spin up, tear it down, then I leave it for a while, and I may not touch it for a while, then all of a sudden, boom, it expires, and I got to jump through hoops, and I try to keep it the same as our classroom environment, to be honest with you. So you'll notice over here, Again, the password expires in 90 days, okay? So that's the default, and I got 71 more days before it expires. And again, I will be notified seven days before it expires, but anyways. Um, so let's change the root password's uh, expiration. So we're gonna set set user um, password expiration. Oops, sorry. Set user root password expiration. I'm going to set it to 1000. And let's see what happens here. We wait. Okay, so there we go. Now let's run that command. Let's get the root user password expiration. And we should see it's changed it. So there we go, it's now changed it to 1,000. So if you don't want it kind of bugging you, 9,999 is actually the the uh, the highest that you could set it to. So whatever that works out to, it works out to a very, very long time uh, over, well, 
you know, very long time. So over 10 years, it'd be 3,000. So 30 years, <laughs> I think would be updating by then. So, uh, so that's so that's kind of nice. I just changed the the expiration, so it's not going to bother me as much. Again, in production, you're going to want to go with whatever the security policies are there. This is like a lab environment. Maybe you don't care about this stuff. Like me, I don't care about it. But now I want to set the password, so I can go set um, user and then the username. Let's say root and then password. And I could actually just hit enter at this point and it'll come back and ask me for the current password and I could type in the current password then it'll ask me for the new password and that's the simplest way to do it right um, if I want to I could also do it all in one shot so I can set um, set user root password the new password here I'm gonna put in T E C U I'm looking here um, glued I'm using tech unglued, <laughs> whatever, let's see if that's gonna work. So there's my new password, right? Let's hopefully it accepts that it should. Uh, so there's my new password and I can type in old password. And my old password was VMware one exclamation point, VMware one exclamation point. Let's see if it takes that, it should, unless I made a mistake. Oh, it came back. Command not found set user password. Oh, there we go. I forgot to put the dash in there. So old dash password, right? Let's see what happens. I don't have all these commands memorized. It's not one of these things you don't run every single day. There we go. So, um, so now I can log in as root with that password. I'm not going to bother showing you that because it's pretty straightforward. But there's the, the new password for root. I'm going to basically blow this machine away. Um, that's pretty much it setting the pass expiration uh how long uh, how long does it expire and the setting of the password uh and again you can do it a couple different ways here you can do it again with the set user name root let's you know what let's change it back it's probably going to give me an error set user set sorry set password user sorry set user root password and I'm just gonna hit enter so last me for the current one the current one is t-e-c-h tech unglued and what's the new password I'm gonna put in VMware one exclamation point VMware one exclamation point and it's probably gonna oh yeah and confirm it M where one exclamation point or one exclamation point it's probably gonna give me an error because I can't reuse these passwords Oh, there we go. Confirm new password. There we go. All right, so it worked. Anyways, I changed it back. So um, that's it. Pretty short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button. I'm sure you've run into this at least once. I've run into it a few times. And again, hit that subscribe button, folks. I really appreciate it. Stick around for the next one. Have a great day. Bye now.